Welcome Tauruses. Let's see what's coming up this month of October. Please remember to go check out the general readings. General readings always give you a more in-depth in what is going on. This month of October we are um, is a change of guards. It's always uh, the energy of a change of guards that makes changes to come in um, the new year. So from October, happy Halloween to all the people who out there celebrates Halloween and the Day of the Dead. And I want to say, please remember to like and share. All right. What's coming up? We see the energy of the two of thorns. The two of thorns. Now, the energy of the two of thorns is the two of pentacles. And this is about making a decision over some sort of a financial situation that is going to be transpiring in your world and is making the right decision okay so um you will whatever financial situation that is going on in your life you will make the right decision about it then the second one is the ten of vase um you tauruses there is a whole lot of dishonesty over a whole lot of money this is in your house so the ten of a vase has to do with the ten of swords and the energy of the ten of swords is that a hand is coming in so to, to a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness um that was there surrounding a whole lot of money you tauruses so that is the reason why you have to make some sort of a deceptive um 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 decision in the third week we see the energy of the seven of vase the seven of vase is that there was some sort of a deceptiveness that has transpired this deceptiveness have to do with a group um this is in the third house the third house in the third week have to do with a lot of this honorable play that was going on is going to be coming out um this is secrecy in aquarius does uh, a lot of you an aquarian could be finding out a whole lot of secrecy surrounding money so be aware then we have the energy of the three of pentacles a successful situation surrounding family this is going to be very positive whatever that was going on transpiring in the family you tauruses and the family is going to be coming together in order to resolve this situation as we look we see the energy of the seven of bells number 77 so a lot of you tauruses are going to be on the right part making some sort of a decision the seven of bells is about deceptiveness okay so we have um the seven of bells the um the seven of balls emotional um situation a lot of you tauruses is going to be having some sort of an idea Whenever the energy of the seven of bells comes up, you're going to be having some sort of an idea of what friends was doing. And this, you are going to be trying to resolve the situation. So this is going to be good. In the sixth house, um, you're dealing with... Uh, six of uh, vowels you're dealing with emotional situation at home within the family emotional situation that could be affecting you um in your everyday duties this is going to be coming up this is the six of cups okay some sort of happiness and joy is going to be coming in between you and a scorpion then we have the energy of the mystic of the bells the mystic of the bells has to do with the uh, um a Libran person this is in the house of uh, the seventh house now the mystic of the bell is the mother of uh, um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libran this could be coming up as a Libran person um, some sort of a, a situation where um, information about a Libran or a Gemini if you are having these people as family members or friends it is going to be coming out this person is in the reverse it is uh, the energy of the mystic now you have 77 and 66 Tauruses and this um, six of candle this is positive the energy of the six of candles is positive is a six of one some sort of a good news is going to be coming in um, wonderful news is going to be coming in the six of uh, um, candles will bring positive news and this positive news is going to be coming in in the eight house the eight house is about uh, um, short-term contractual agreement there could be uh, can be affairs also but it's good news that is going to be coming in concerning some sort of a short-term agreement um, that you already have so positive news good news this is wonderful for you 
as we look at the ninth house the ninth house we see the energy of the explorer of vars now the energy of the explorer of vars it is a young pisces cancer scorpion person between the age of 18 and 45 whoever this person is and whatever this person has been doing um something is going to be coming out about this person and some sort of a dishonesty um, because we have the tomb of pentacles we have deceptiveness seven of bells and we have this person in the reverse okay the nine of one, some sort of a protection is going to be coming up at the workplace, whatever is happening for the people who are working your business, some sort of a protection is going to be coming up because they're going to be protecting you from a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. They have recognized who this person is and what this person have done. So it could be someone from another place, another city created a whole lot of injustice um and uh, there is going to be some sort of a protection especially at work with your business with your project there is going to be some sort of a protection that is coming up for you tauruses so this is wonderful then when we look at the 11th house the 11th house you're dealing with the mystic of the vaults the mystic of the vaults is a scorpion person who is coming up now it can be pisces cancer scorpion but for a lot of you it's going to be a scorpion person now whoever the scorpion man is and whatever the scorpion person of this pisces cancer scorpion person have done they're not going to be recognizing who this person is and the chaos that this person has created now it's really coming up as a prominent scorpion person because they're above, this could be a family member or someone that is connected to you, Tauruses. It could be your in-laws, that sort of a situation. The outcomes is that a tower moment is coming down for this person. Whoever this person is, has done some sort of an injustice, has done something that was not above water. They have now recognized what this person has done. Um, this person is sitting and it's like a group of people are not recognizing the disorganized of a situation what this person had carried out so tauruses that was dealing with a pisces cancer a scorpion person an end is coming up to the injustice and especially um if you were dealing with a scorpion person um your ex-husband your ex and that sort of a thing you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming the scorpion person because good news is in the house of the scorpion that you overcome a situation that you were dealing with with a scorpion you could have been helping this person or this person could have been working against you good news is coming up because they're now going to be recognizing what a scorpion man have done so wow tauruses um they're in your house tauruses the 10 of swords is always about deceptiveness lies okay um um you tauruses that um have a um, collected information details you could have uh, worked together with someone a Gemini to create some sort of a problem and this is going to be coming out so when we look at this uh, month this month is going to be a very emotional month um for a lot of you guys and when we when we speak about emotional um by having the energy of the six of cups especially in your everyday um duties uh, um there is going to be a whole lot of emotions that is going to be surrounding um you tauruses and especially at the home front but it's as if uh, whatever the emotional situation is at the home front uh, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a protection okay and that is going to be good they're now recognizing that friends did not speak the truth okay and um and the energy of the friend house is the energy of the fifth house okay and the fifth house an aquarian and a leo is going to be recognizing you know, that some of you tauruses didn't speak the truth about something okay so um, a lot of you Tauruses are going to financial upheaval um, that is going to finally come to an end. So um, this is very good because you begin the month with the energy of the two of pentacles and you're ending the month with the energy of the, t and the tower. And this could have been karmatic situation. A lot of people who get involved with each other 
friends, people with a whole lot of money is because you have owed these people money in a past lifetime. And this is the reason why. So the two of pentacles, a lot of people are now going to be gaining a lot of knowledge. And it's as if a lot of you are in going within yourself to find out what is the best way to deal with a financial crisis that is in your life or some sort of a financial situation that you have to deal with. And a lot of you are going to be gaining a lot of understanding. A scorpion person, they have now recognized um, that a scorpion person from another place, another city could have uh, manipulated a situation. Because when we look in the house of uh, authoritarians or um, the house of uh, um, your surrounding, your home life surrounding, they're going to be recognizing because there you have uh, the seven of cups and the seven of balls is in the reverse. Seven of balls is that there is a whole lot of emotional situation concerning sisters, brothers, friends, um, a Gemini that has affected your life. You are standing strong and uh, a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a situation and there is going to be a really successful moment because you have the two of pentacles in the first house and the three of pentacles in the fourth house and the fourth house is a situation with family so a lot of you tauruses is going to be trying to um protect your family from a devastated situation um then a lot of you are going to be finding out that your friends have not spoken the truth and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out and there now a lot of you are going to be dealing with an issue with a liberal um person whoever this liberal person is so, um, they're going to be now gaining some sort of a understanding. So we are seeing a deceptive situation with friends is going to be coming out that is going to bring emotions. But it's as if you guys are going to be healing your emotions. It can be friends, associates, colleagues, that sort of a thing. Um, whoever, um, whatever that was going on, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a successful moment again. So a Librian that has uh, created some sort of a disillusion that affected your world and some sort of a good news is going to be coming in. Now, they're now looking at uh, a young, um, this could be a young Pisces, whether this young Pisces is, it's coming up as a Pisces, but it, it can be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. And they're going to be protecting you Tauruses from this person. A lot of you Tauruses are dealing with the water sign people, but there is going to be a definitely a tower moment for a scorpion person that has manifest a situation. So a lot of emotion concerning a young Pisces Cancer scorpion person and you Tauruses are going to be protecting yourself from this person. Whatever that was going on, I, a whole lot of protection. The nine of wands is about standing your ground protecting yourself from um, a situation that is that doesn't serve you okay when we look at uh, um the energy of karma in the 12 house um this karma in the 12 house is a serious uh, um situation where a lot of you ended some sort of a karma with a scorpion a Libran and a Scorpion. A lot of people are going to be gaining a lot of knowledge over a Gemini. A Tower moment is coming down for a Gemini woman along with a Libran woman. They're going to be recognizing that a Libran person had helped a Gemini person against you Tauruses. So it could be that you Tauruses is now going to be recognizing a whole lot of untruths that was told by a Gemini and a Libran person. Okay, so you're kind of protecting yourself from these people in the situation. You Tauruses are going to be successfully overcoming a Libran person and you're going to be having some sort of a protection. If your husband or was a scorpion, a fish, uh, um, a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion, you're going to be protecting yourself from this person also, okay? So when we look at your month, it's about emotional imbalance, so where you're recognizing that if your sister, your mother, your sister-in-law is a liberal, this person and their friends could have created some sort of an illusion, and this person is now in a whole lot of problems, um, and this person is now recognizing that their friends uh, had deceived them. Okay, so you Tauruses is now going to be gaining a whole lot of understanding of this Libran person and recognizing what was going on. 
so we have a lot of you are going to be um uh, helping a tour a, a capricorn person to overcome an aries person whatever is happening and transpiring i see a lot of you Taurus is is going within yourself and is recognizing that the aries person was not very honest and you're going to be helping a capricorn person to regain something that uh, you know that a aries person have to call a tower moment is coming down on the 10 of um swords now the ten of swords is about um deceptiveness okay and it's in your house so um so this is the energy of the ten of bells tauruses and the energy of the ten of bells is coming to an end over a real dishonorable situation that was happening and transpiring okay so a lot of you Tauruses in your house, there was um, untruths that was told. Um, someone stabbed you in the back and this is going to come to an end because people are now going to be gaining a lot of knowledge of what was transpiring. And whoever has stabbed you in the back, Tauruses, you are going to be helping someone else to recover and overcome what this person have done. They now recognize, uh, um, because in the house of a Gemini, um, we see the energy of uh, the seven of uh, vials, which is emotions. And a lot of you Tauruses that is connected with a Gemini is going to be is very emotional over a situation between you and this Gemini. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you Tauruses is going to be finding a way to resolve an emotional situation that is happening to you and is affecting the lives of you because of a Gemini. Now, this is a situation where it is in the house of... Uh, it's in the house of... Uh, um, the house of um general public you know it is in the house where it could be that you're dealing with a group of people it could be an associate it could be a family member but it's in your environment okay so in your environment you're very emotional because you're going to be finding out something about a gemini um how a gemini has uh, accumulated a whole lot of money okay a lot of you tauruses are going to be falling in love with a capricorn person whoever this capricorn person is a lot of you tauruses is going to be helping a capricorn person to overcome a problematic situation that they have been having in their family and help them to resolve a situation so it's as if you change gear and shift gear with a problematic situation. So you see the energy of the two of pentacles shows up a lot that has been going on. And because of that, you're resolving and trying to resolve a situation, but at the same time, trying to protect and help someone else to get out of um, some sort of an issue that they themselves or their family by helping that person is just going to be helping you in return. Okay. News is coming in. Um, a lot of you Tauruses is going to be recognizing and getting some sort of a news or looking back at text message. Um, because it's as if an Aquarian um, is now recognizing that a, a, a Leo hasn't spoken the truth, okay? So there is a lot of message communication between an Aquarian and a Leo that a lot of you Tauruses is going to be finding out that a Leo um, has not spoken the truth. And so it says a Leo and an Aquarian um, has been working together is as if you're going to be getting some sort of an understanding because these two could be plotting and waving and, and speaking together and you're going to be, you Tauruses are going to be finding out what was going on. So these two could be two friends that was weaving a plot. Um, they now recognize something about a scorpion. Um, so it could be you Tauruses is now gaining an understanding about a Taurus, um, some sort of a travel documents or a car or something of a scorpion. Um, whatever is going on, a scorpion is now in some sort of a problem concerning um, traveling. It could be problematic situation with their cars. It could be um, a situation where you're dealing with someone who is... Um, um, having some sort of an issue concerning traveling concerning a car problems it could be a mechanic 
that has your car for a very long time, that sort of a situation and recognizing um, that communication that this person gave to you was not based on factual truth. So there is a whole lot of lies because it could be that um, they overcharge you for your car or they overcharge you for something. A liberal woman is hoping for a situation to be over. Whoever this liberal woman is, is really standing, looking out and hoping for a situation to be over because this liberal person now recognized that there was, they got caught up in a very disorganized situation that they want to get out of. A scorpion have to pay you Tauruses a lot of money. Um, it could be a situation that a scorpion was creating a lot of chaos surrounding your money. Um, they're you're going to be getting some sort of a message from a scorpion that a whole lot of money will be coming back to you so this is um, going to be really positive now um, it could be some sort of a short-term job or service that you gave out and uh, you did not receive the service and the money is going to be returning to you so this is going to be wonderful okay so it's it's as if you paid money to get some sort of a services but the services uh, something happened and they're now going to be recognizing and they're going to be uh, refunding you the money okay so this is really positive so that is good news so the end is coming up for a young pisces cancer scorpion person Whoever this person is, they have been recognizing and gaining a whole lot of information about this person. Now, be aware that it could be a family member or it could be your child. It could be your partner, okay? So if you're in a relationship with a young, because this person is in the ninth house, so this person is from another country or another place, and an end has come to this person because they recognize that this person had lied about a situation, Okay, it is a transition where this person didn't speak the truth and a lot of you Tauruses is now going to be recognizing that this person was um, manipulating a situation. Protection is going to be coming up and this is what I said, Tauruses, a lot of you Tauruses are going to be protected or you Tauruses could be protecting someone else and it is coming up as a, uh, a Capricorn person where you Tauruses are now recognizing, oh my God, I made the wrong decision. Um, this decision that I've made was not based on factual truth because someone else gave me another story. And because of that, as huge protection, you're going to be creating some sort of a huge protection around your business. You're going to be getting protection at the workplace. You're going to be um, getting some form of a protection because you are giving some sort of a protection because you recognize that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person did not speak the truth. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in. A lot of you are going to be receiving a news from a, um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person, whoever this person is. Um, this person is going to be sending you some sort of a message um, and this could be a situation if uh, your husband or uh, uh, was late or your children father was late to pay money to you um, they're going to be advising you that the money is coming in so it has to do with a scorpion person because in the house of the scorpion is as if you successfully overcome the scorpion person and is going to be gaining um, a whole lot of money back uh, from this person okay could be something that this person did and uh, created a whole lot of illusion and that is going to be coming in. A tower moment is going to be here. The energy of the tower is that some of you Taurus men could have got into some sort of a problematic situation. A lot of you Taurus men are in thoughts. A lot of you Taurus men, um, there could be a tower moment coming down on you Taurus men. Um, a lot of you Taurus is, is in thoughts and is now recognizing you know, that you were dealing with karma and it's as if some of you Taurus men, your karma is going to be over and your karma was um, coming from past lifetime, dealing with other people, dealing with money, dealing with um, complication, documentation, that sort of a thing. And you guys are the second person who I see um, comes up with the energy of towers, like endings, endings um, to lies and deceptiveness, endings to... Um, corruptsy endings um, and a lot of you uh, Taurus men is going to be recognizing that you were going through a form of karma with other people and this is how you got involved with these people okay so truth is going to be revealed and I see a lot of you Tauruses is going to be helping you know, 
a Capricorn person to regain something because you Taurus is recognized uh, that an Aries uh, person was not speaking the truth, that an Aries person was manifesting and manipulating a situation by using uh, a Capricorn person uh, um, information or using a Capricorn person a family to gain a lot of uh, um, money that sort of a thing so a lot of you are going to be going within and it's going to be recognizing that the Aries was not above water another good news is going to be coming in because this is the six of Pentacles so Taurus is there has been a whole lot of secrecy surrounding a lot of money there's a lot of secrecy around the rest of you who are not dealing with money your friends, Taurus, has had a whole lot of secrecy and this is going to come to an end because whenever we have the energy of the Ten of Swords, it's about people really dishonestly stabbing you in the back without you even knowing, creating a lot of problems, lying, and you're going to be finding out that your friends were not very honest. And if some people are saying, well, friends, I don't have any friends, acquaintances, people who you connect with. Um... A lot of you Tauruses were in a relationship or a marriage with a Gemini person. There's a lot of emotional situation concerning money. So if you're married to a Gemini person or if you're married to a Scorpion person, there is a lot of problems. If this is your child's mother or father, a lot of problems surrounding money. But this money is going to be returning. Um, they're now recognizing what a cancer person have done. And a lot of people are going to be successfully overcoming a cancer person. Whoever this cancer person is and whatever was going on, for some of you, it is a um, a relative, it's a family member, okay? A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a, um, that a Pisces cancer or scorpion is the mother of a Capricorn person. And you're going to be trying to help this person to resolve a family issue because you Tauruses recognize that this person is mourning the death of their parents, but there was a cancer that was manipulating a situation. Okay. Then lies and deceptiveness. They're onto a Aquarian and a Leo, whatever is going on Taurus is, uh, this is like authority coming in because this is the energy of the Gemini's. So, um, and the Gemini's, are, it's like people are watching conversation going between um, people and it's now recognizing um, that uh, an Aquarian and a Leo have been lying. Okay? Whoever this Aquarian and this Leo is, they have not been speaking the truth. And it's as if you Tauruses are connected with these people. And it's as if people are now going to be, there could be a situation where someone is watching two people. Watching the conversation of two people and recognizing that a Leo and an Aquarian have been communicating via email and watching the communication of these people and recognizing what has been going on. They're now going to be recognizing a whole lot of secrecy surrounding a Virgo and a Scorpion. So they're going to be now recognizing that a Virgo um, created some sort of a, or used a Scorpion. Because if you notice the energy of uh, that is in the house of uh, the sixth house. The sixth house is about the everyday duties. So the everyday duties is about some sort of a travel situation. And you Taurus is, is going to be recognizing that there was a whole lot of secrecy surrounding a scorpion and a Virgo and some sort of a travel. So this is what I'm saying to a lot of you. Everyday situation could be affecting you with the energy of car if you're not traveling um, that uh, these people uh, do something with your car. There is some sort of a problem. There's some sort of a dishonesty. There's secrecy that a Virgo could have used a scorpion information to give to someone else. And this is a secret that is going to be coming out. So if you notice the energy of the moon is shedding light uh, that a Virgo is behind uh, a scorpion travel documents being used and they're going to be recognizing because a uh, is, is as if they're going to be gaining some sort of a knowledge of how the Scorpion travel document was either access, copy, or the licenses, and they're going to be recognizing that a Virgo is behind this. So now, 
a Libran person wants a new start with you, Tauruses, whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, this could be that is your wife, your child's mother um, is coming up. Whoever this Libran person is really wants a new start with you. They're hoping for a problematic situation to be over so that they can um, um, like have this new start. So it could be your mother. It could be a friend. It could be someone who recognize that they have gone too far within a situation or they got dragged in a situation and is now recognizing, I got to make this right, okay? So whoever this liberant person is, uh, Taurus is, wants to come back and hope to come back and make this situation right, okay? Because you, if you notice, this is the energy of the rebirth uh, where the, a cycle is over and this person wants uh, to repair the damage that has been done, okay? So it's coming up as an Aquarian, Gemini, or a Libran. Then when we look at the energy of the Six of Pentacles, you're going to be very, very successfully overcoming um, a, a, um, a situation where um, a scorpion could have done you um, or a scorpion had something or you're helping a scorpion to resolve a situation. Money is going to be returning because they're going to be now gaining a whole lot of knowledge over what a cancer have done. And it's as if this cancer had collaborated with a scorpion and did something that was not above water. And this money is going to be coming in. So you have the energy of the six of pentacles. Good news that money is going to be coming in and you're going to be successfully overcoming a scorpion and what a scorpion have created in your world. The end is coming up for a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion. They have now recognized that this person has a whole lot of details and information on their computer that they should not have had in the first place. People are now gaining a whole lot of knowledge concerning um, this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion and recognizing um, that they have intercept and copy data and information. So this is a problem because it is now showing up. They're now recognizing um, that this young person, so let's hope that it's not your child or someone at the workplace who had access and was shattering a lot of you. They're ending it and they're shutting it down because they're now recognizing a really um, this honorable play of this person. They're gaining a lot of knowledge of who this young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person is and was. So the secrecy that was created surrounding a business or a project of a home is now out. And they're now gathering a lot of knowledge uh, because there was a secrecy concerning a business, a secrecy concerning a house, a secrecy concerning some sort of a secret project that was going on is now out and they're now going to be uh, recognizing and it's going to be making some sort of a protection, okay? Then we're looking at the 11th house and the 11th house is that they recognize that a man was applying for something and people in authority is going to be shutting it down. Now, whoever this person is could have paid money to an Aquarian to get details and information or paid money to an Aquarian to do something. And people or a group of people are now recognizing what this man has done. Whoever this man is, is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, and they're going to be holding on on this man because they recognize a really disorganized situation that this man has paid to get some sort of a details or information. So whoever this person is, it could be an ex-husband, an ex-partner who manipulated a situation in order to get some sort of a information. And it has to do with... Uh, um, an Aquarian could have found out the situation and is going to be trying to resolve this problem. A lot of you, and, and this I said it was um, Taurus men are now recognizing, Taurus men and women are now recognizing that they were in karma. They were dealing with karma, karma with people, karma with situation. They were dealing with a whole lot of people and a whole lot of karmas. And they're now recognizing that this karma is now coming to an end. A lot of you Taurus men was dealing with a um, Gemini and a Libran. Um, this is going to come to an end. If you were married to a Gemini and a Libran, there was some sort of a problematic situation. This is now going to be coming to an end. So a lot of people... Um, who are married or in relationship with a Libran, a Gemini, um, a lot of you, whether it's their sister's brother or family members, they had a lot of secrets. 
and this secret and situation is going to be coming out and a lot of you Taurus men and women are now going to be recognizing this is karma this this has to be karma there is no way I would have gotten involved with these people these situation and they're now going to be recognizing a situation where they're going to be recognizing how a Libran has gotten a new start that a Libran had some sort of a secret um, new start so number 66 and number 67 and uh, you know this is really really a heavy month for you Tauruses because you're dealing with a whole lot of issues and these issues that you're dealing with is with friends um and, and and these friends and associates have lied to a lot of you about money because here a lot of you are standing your ground and protecting yourself from these friends and these people because you're not recognizing that um a Leo and a Aquarian was uh, communicating behind your back and was not speaking the truth. And here they're not going to be recognizing that a Libran and a Gemini was trying to manipulate a situation with a house and a business. And they're not going to be recognizing because somehow whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are going to be gaining a whole lot of knowledge about a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person from another country. Now, this person is from another country because they are in the ninth house, okay? Um, so the first house is going to be good for you, Tauruses. Your own house, Tauruses, is like the dishonesty and the inability of a Gemini person and what a Gemini person was doing is going to be coming out. Um, a lot of you are going to be having relationship um, situation or problems with contractual agreement. A lot of you, they're going to be recognizing that uh, a scorpion and a cancer and uh, took a whole lot of money. A lot of you, I see that a Pisces cancer scorpion person is going to be uh, offering you something, but it's as if uh, you are not open for what this person is offering you, okay? So we see the mountain and the energy of the mountain is in the first week. And this energy of this mountain is the energy of number six. And it's all about money, materialistic wealth. It is your frequency. So the first week is going to be good, Tauruses, because the first week is going to be showing you up a lot of stuff about an Aquarian and a Leo, about a, a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person from another country. And the energy of the mountain is that these people and these situations that you are not aware of is going to be visible to you. Then we see um, in the second week, things are going to be getting good because in the second week, um, this is the energy of number 14. Number 14 is that you're going to be riding the tides out. That means you are going to be taking in everything and then you're going to be making a resolution. But you, you're going within and is going to be gaining knowledge of how to resolve a situation as it comes up, riding the tides about changes. So, of course, this is when the changes is going to be coming up because it's going to be affecting um, you. And this is the when the changes is going to be coming up is in the second week. So this is going to be um, very, very positive. So you have 14 and 5 in the second week. As we look at the third week, the third week is number 37. Clean up, clean house. So a lot of you are going to be resolving a lot of issues. And as you get to the third week, you're going to be cleaning up a lot of mess that people created up um in your world okay and a lot of you that have a gemini a libran or an aquarian um, um person in your life that has created a whole lot of chaos you're going to be resolving the situation and ending it and moving forward cleaning house is a new start so here it is that in the third week a libran a uh, woman wants a new start with some of you Tauruses so, because uh, you kind of recognize and is resolving a situation and a Libran wants to reach out to you in the third week. So there is going to be a situation where a Libran is uh, reaching out in the third week to apologize for something. In the fourth week, number 54, nine, um, some sort of a problematic situation that was going on is going to be resolved. Um, you Tauruses is going to be... Uh, really connecting with a Capricorn person and resolving as an issue that uh, affected a Capricorn person. And this is like you want as um, a, a, um, like a, um, a problematic situation to 
come to an end um, because you recognize and you gain more understanding and recognize uh, that um, this person went through a whole lot and it's because of uh, um, jealousy and uh, people who were not being very honest. So you're, you're going to be trying to change that frequency and energy. So you're going to be shutting down something. Again, you end the month on a tower moment where a lot of you women and men recognize that, you know, you were dealing with a whole lot of karmas and these karmas are finally going to be released and you're going to be released from these karmas and working on other things as you get to your birthday next year. I do love you guys. Please remember to like and share, 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 because a lot of people have a loss since i've returned to europe a lot of people in america can't find my videos anymore so share 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 so that people will find the videos i do love you guys namaste